Well, it is January 24th. 24th? 25th? 25th. So I'm going to redo some sweet peas because mine all died in the minus 14, 15 cold, even tucked away in everything. I'm not sure why it's all wet, but I'll take that outside and wash it. I probably overwatered them as well. Not having a good winter so far, am I? Don't see any rats. There's no rat on the trap. But uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a great start to the year, eh? So anyway, I'm going to re some sweet peas. I'm going to soak some uh, red lupins that Denise uh, from Denise in the Garden sent me. And I will go from there. That's about all I'm doing today. Bye. So these are the three I'm doing. I just chopped off all of the blue ones that had died in the soaking wet coldness. And I'm just leaving them there because they might come back. You never know. If I pull them out, they definitely won't come back. So that's what we're going to do with those. That's what these are again. Bijou, Mammoth, and Striped Butterfly Blend. Oof. Well, we, oh, excuse me. We are due some biblical rains and we have flood warnings out, but I just wanted to show you my poor, I protected them from the squirrels, but apparently never protected them from the cold as enough. So I don't know, hopefully they'll come back. Whether they do or not, I don't know, but this soil, it's not been watered, it's just cold. Pansies? Hmm. Cyclamen? Hmm. So I don't know. Nothing I can do about it. It's winter. It is what it is. I mean, even these things had flowers on them a month ago or all dead. These are my Centuria. Hopefully they'll come back. I mean, they are a perennial, but anyway. Blueberries have got buds on them. Buds uh, on the blueberries somewhere. Yeah, no, I don't know. Dahlia protected, hopefully, fingers crossed, right? Yeah, anyway, I came out here because I've got a bucket and I have to do my cocoa core that I'll mix with my soil and I get some boiling water to pour on it and then I got to repot my onions so that I can use the trays for my other things I've got to sow. And I use boiling water because um, it breaks it up faster, but it also hopefully kills any pathogens or any bad things that are in there. <clears throat> there we go. Steamy, so you can't see anything, sorry. <laughs> there. Anyway, gonna need more water. Takes a lot more than you think. Well, um, sorry, Will. My tiny garlic looked like it died in the cold. Um, I don't know what to do. Probably empty those two out. These ones are tiny garlics and they seem to be still doing okay. So I had those underneath there protected. Um, what else? My red crimson broad beans that Jem gave me. The rat ate. He ate everything in this pot. My peas died, but I'm not taking them out. I might just leave them there, top them up a wee bit and put some carrots in those pots. But I came out here to sift soil for my um, onions. And look at this. That's wood, more wood, and more wood, and more wood. So I'm having to sift it all. But this has been in the house for a week and it's soaking wet. So hopefully it's gonna be okay. Um, I'll sift it in there and then try and find something to put it in. Oh, I tell you. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today, hopefully. Mr. Rat appears to have moved on, probably because he ate all the bloody brassicas in here and there's nothing left for him to flip and eat. So, but my onions are looking worse for wear, so I need to get them in a container and that's my sweet peas covered up for the mice. Okay, that's one tray done. These are early red, onion early red. I think they're sp spring onion, I'm not sure, but the frontiers I know are regular onions, I think. I don't know, I have to go look now. Anyway, that's one done. One down, and three to go. There you go, Denise. You're the first flowers. Let's hope we get good results. Bye. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's absolutely pouring out. Um, but anyway, I came out to clean up, which didn't happen. 
I came out to put this together, which did happen. I just have to, all of the shelves are on top of my tulips out there, out there in that torrential downpour. So I'm not going to get them today. Um, the other thing I need to do is I put some Paris Market in, the little round ones. I probably wasted a big pot doing them, but I've done them now. So what are you going to do, right? Uh, so that's the Paris Markets. And that's about it. It's like, it's atrocious weather. I can't do anything. Everywhere I go, I'm getting soaked. So I'm going in the house to finish watching some YouTubes. Well, that is a field. And the creek that runs through it, down here, hang on a sec. Hang on, I'm doing a bad thing driving. Um, that creek where you can see those rocks, that is where the creek actually is. So it's overflowed right over his yard. Holy crap, man. Holy mackerel. Wow, no swimming in there today, hey? No. Holy crap. Good morning. It's overcast, but at least it stopped bloody raining. Um, what did I come out here to do? I came out to check on my bulbs. These are the ones I had to hide from the squirrels and my strawberries. The strawberries seem to be doing fine. They're picking back up again. Um, I'll give them some new fresh straw, but I'll clean that out later. The bulbs are finally coming up and these ones don't seem to be too bad because they were protected mostly. Uh, keep wiping my hands on my pants. Gerald is going to have a fit. Um, you should have seen the size. If I had had my camera available last night, oh my God, the size of the bloody raccoon that ran through our yard. It was the size of a German shepherd with short legs. Uh, other than that, nothing's going on. Oh, look. Signs of spring. Now, these could be chives because I had chives in the soil last year. Um, but there's also spring bulbs in there. These are the raspberries I cut back. Raspberries, blueberry, green twist. I got to find a spot for that. The snapdragons finally succumbed to the weather, so I'll have to cut that all back down. These were absolutely full of water yesterday from the rain, so I've emptied those out. The squirrels have been digging in my garlic, looking for something. So hopefully it's going to be okay. A couple of the carrots were coming up, but they seem to have succumbed to the cold. So I might try planting some moa. Let's see. Oh man. And the squirrels were digging and I put some straw, as you can see, little bastards. Um, I put straw around my spring bulbs because they were getting really cold. Well, the squirrels have decided, hey, she's put straw down. So there must be something in there. So you can see where they're digging their little holes in everything. There's nothing in here at the moment other than spring bulbs. So, so yeah, they've made a mess. I've got to clean that all up. Um, spring bulbs in here are coming up and hydrangeas are getting their new buds. How well they'll do in this cold, I don't know because as you can see, all my spring bulbs are being beaten to death by the cold and the rain. But the lilies are coming back. Look, lilies. Lilies. Got lilies everywhere. Lilies there, lilies here, lilies, lilies everywhere. I've decided I'm not growing vegetables ever again. I'm just growing flowers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, hyacinths, I believe. And the... Come on, Alison. You could, the sedums are all coming back. They've got their new flower heads already. Um, that looks like a mouse hole, maybe. Who knows? Never did trap the rat. He just seemed to move on once he'd eaten all my vegetables. But yeah, something's digging. I need my shelves back um, for my shelving unit. Uh, yeah, see, something's digging. Little holes everywhere. The blueberries have got new buds. See? They're doing really good. That one's got new buds. That one's got new buds. That one's got new buds. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, little monsters. Look at the mess they make. I cleaned this up once already. 
I don't know if I showed you this already, but everything out here died. This is purple sprouting broccoli. Never again. Um, I just can't, I can't torture myself with things that won't grow over winter. So we're going to take some of this soil out and decide what we're going to put in here. Um, this side, I'm probably going to grow squash up because we're going to put that trellis that's out that you can see those square four inch squares that's going to go up against that wall and curve curve this way and put that up there um and i might just grow lettuces and things on this side we'll see i like i said i'm i'm tired of stressing myself out over things that don't grow or survive winters here it's it's just not uh, feasible but yeah all this has got to get pulled out today and see if we can't clean this bed up a bit for spring because it is coming i need all new bark mulch on here so i'm gonna pull all this well not all of it i'll pull some of this old bark mulch up this one gets a lovely moss layer on it uh, buggers have been digging over there okay, but look at the, my poor spring but these are my onions and my carrots like it just got minus 18 is not conducive to growing anything at all outside um that's garlic and that's spring bulbs and those are spring bulbs, but I'm not, uh, I'm not holding my breath that they're going to grow. Anyway, anyway, I get to work, get some stuff done. Uh, kale, like everything, it's just dead or in a flipping doornail. Holes in the ground, obviously little voles or something. Squirrels. Anywhere you find big holes is usually the squirrels. Anyway, get to work and, uh, back in a minute that's got to get raised up Gerald's cut wood for me for the ends so I got to do that so I can put a bit more dirt in there spring bulbs in here are doing fine but again not a lot of production oh I sometimes wonder why we bother right but as soon as we get some sunny days I'll remember why I bother elephant garlic's doing well sort of um, I don't know why it's got weird tips on it. This one doesn't look happy, as you can see. Everything got so wet, like I just... And these have got extra holes to make sure that they drain properly. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you can do, right? You do what you do. Anyway, that's me for today. i got to get some work done. Bye. Oh, my God. I came out here to move this huge thing. And look at that. Like, oh my God, let the games begin, buddy. Get the bathtub ready. Oh, you buggers. Okay, so we're putting up some shelves because that's where my potting table is going to go. So, Gerald did the drilling for me. Because I'm still on training class for drilling. And this goes all the way this. And I think I measured them properly. We'll find out in about half a second when I can't get the screws through. But yeah, so that's going to go there and then my table's going to go back over here. I'm trying to clean up my greenhouse because it's an absolute pig pen. The floor is full of mud because, well, it's winter, Gerald tells me. And then got this done today and then come on outside. I'll show you what else I did. So I topped up this bed. I had to put something in, in here to stop because it's not screwed down. It's just here. So I'm got to put that because I want to put some more dirt in here that's why these pots are like this for my peonies which are all coming up now um so that if I top the bed up I don't top up the peonies because if you bury peonies too deep they won't flower um pulled up all the carrots and onions I've got to straighten that bed out these are the carrots that were in there all winter where are they over here um, <laughs> um. Just imagine how much better they would have done if they'd have been in there a bit longer. But some of them are okay. We'll throw them in a stir fry. Uh, what else did we do? Moved a bunch of pots out because I got to sort a bunch of soil for the potatoes. So they all have to go in the wheelbarrows. That is the case that was too big. I don't know why I bought one that was really huge because I don't have a huge, although I did have an old one. I'm rambling. I had an old one. So I put that one on there to put my onions and my sweet peas in and then realized I put it together wrong because I don't have enough bars in the middle to hold a shelf. As you can see, there's only one. So I gotta take it apart again. Um, yeah, that's about it. But look at the floor, it's filthy. 
Like I said, if I could vacuum in here, I'd be a happy camper, but it's too wet. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. It's 12 degrees and overcast, but we're supposed to get some sunshine next week, so we shall see. So there's my stuff. And that's where my pots, are, little pots are gonna go. So when I'm potting on this table here, I've got pots and labels and stuff above my head and I don't have to keep getting up. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. It is what? The 30th of January and it's 12 degrees. Bye. Looks like the celery's coming up. God, they're tiny. I just love pricking out tiny seedlings. Blah.